Okay, now I want to discuss mission foods or mission tortilla routes. Before we go any further, I have to give you the legal disclaimer. We do not represent the companies being advertised, but rather the individual sellers and their distribution rights. The information contained in the videos are from previous questions and answers based on interaction with other sellers and previous listings. So moving forward, as I mentioned, these Mission Tortilla Routes kind of have their own niche market. They are owned by Mission Foods. They are primarily nationwide. And basically, with Mission Food Routes, again, there's no financing. However, we have a source that we can refer you out to. If you haven't seen our financing video, feel free to go over that. It'll kind of highlight some bullet points on how to obtain some additional funding, or you can click on the financing link here. But with that said, the company itself does not offer financing. Moving forward, uh, that will kind of dictate uh, a little bit on their selling prices. Uh, you will, uh, can pick up a mission route fairly cheap when compared to the other routes in the industry. On average, around 12 to 15 one of the weekly sales or 12 to 15 times the weekly sales. And the reason for that is, again, because there's no financing. It's also classified as a sub-distributorship. Again, similar to like Martin's Breads and things like that, uh, the company actually appoints a master distributor in the area. And so you're not necessarily contracting directly to the company, but rather with that master distributor. Uh, the, the advantage to that is sometimes mission master distributors will allow you to own multiple routes. So if you're an investor, this may be appealing to you, whereas some of the other companies like Snyder, Snyder's, Arnold Bread, possibly like Pepperidge Farm Bread, they're not gonna allow you to own multiple routes. They wanna see owner operators. So the other attraction is the one year to two year ROI. Like I said, if it's selling 12 to 15, one of the weekly sales average, you're gonna be around one to two years of the return on your investment. And just keep in mind, that's pretty much gotta be a cash deal. As far as the window of opportunity for service in the routes, again, it's just like any other grocery store route. You have that you know, four to 5 a.m. to 10, 11, possibly noon time frame to service a grocery store. So that's kinda gonna kinda dictate your time that you have to work the route. If you're a morning person, that's great because it obviously leaves you the rest of the day to kind of uh, do your hobbies, uh, play golf, or uh, even supplement your income with something else. Again, I mentioned employees. You uh, do have the right to hire an employee to help you with the route. And if you are interested in owning multiple routes, this may be an opportunity for you. As far as days off, Wednesdays and Sundays primarily are the days that most distributors take off. Some do, however, take weekends off. Again, tortillas are not quite as demanding as the bread itself. Bread is going to be the most maintenance. Mission and, and chips are somewhere in the middle, and of course, cookie routes are our easiest. But for all intensive purposes, the price is definitely right on these. Uh, the commission rate is definitely right as well. So it gives you anywhere from 20 to 25 percent, depending on the area you purchase the route in. So again, that allows a little bit of extra commission and income, and then allows you to hire somebody to run the route. So this concludes the overview of Mission Tortilla Routes. If you have questions, always feel free to email us.